We're just going down here looking at what we've got left of, you know, remnants of summer. We have um, our fall leaves are starting to fall down. Not very much is changing right now. And it's October, what is this? October 9th, 10th, something like that. October 9th, maybe. So, uh, anyway. You can see the things that I did plant, viburnum and all these things have lived other than weeding and getting some of the grass out. I don't have to really worry about that right now just because of the fact that um, the winter will take care of a lot of this grass and a lot of these weeds. So uh, let's take a little, a little stroll. Things are changing. Leaves are changing. Seasons are changing. I'm not a huge fan of the fall. I appreciate the season for what it is. I appreciate that we need a renewal and the seasons need to change. In North Carolina, we have four major seasons. We have um, winter, spring, summer, and fall. And we are entering our fall season right now and it's October. Things are gonna start getting more chilly. They're gonna start getting more cold and ugh, it just kinda is what it is. But I wanted to give you guys a little bit of encouragement and a little bit of advice just because we've all been in some weird places lately. Everybody has been in some weird places lately, including myself. But I also took a weekend off, which I hadn't had in, I don't know, a couple of months. I've been working seven days straight, um, working all during the day and then working nights and working weekends is kind of what you do, especially now. Um, everybody's busy trying to do what they need to do to live and to survive, and there, there's not a lot of time for outside interaction and a lot of time for having lots of social time and lots of friends when you're busy trying to sustain your life and you're trying to sustain your livelihood and your your family and you know things are expensive and they keep getting worse and we're just trying to all of us just try to make ends meet so we work and we do what we have to do to make a living and you know sometimes that means you kind of get alienated and you get kind of separated from people and it's not for the lack of not wanting to have those friends or have those social interactions with people. It's just that sometimes life puts you in certain situations to where you don't have a choice and you have to make the more appropriate decision, which is you gotta work. You gotta, you gotta work, you gotta make money, you gotta eat, you have to live, and you have other people that you have to support. So 
somebody had posed a question to me and said, well, what do you do about um, being, you know, you're involved in so many things. What about like community things? Yes, I'm involved in a lot of community things. That's included in my 24 hours, seven days a week um, things that it's not work. It's volunteer service. So yeah, I do, I do a lot of things. Um, as far as being like super socially active and like doing those types of things, I don't really have time for that. So I do get, um, separated and I do feel like at times that I get alienated and separated just because there's so many different things now socially where they're very cliquish and there are different involved cliques. Um... So I, I don't I don't rush to be part of any kind of clique. I, I don't feel obligated or the need to be part of any kind of clique or cliquish thing or whatever it is. If it's not um, benefiting um, other people besides you know myself or my business, if it's not really helping do something good, I don't really rush out to be part of any kind of. Um, a clicks because sometimes clicks are just formed for other people just validating themselves and they're only going to accept certain types of people and I'm not going to do that. Um, I, I, I try to like and be friend and, and, and love everybody and be part of things that really matter most and things that I value the most. And um, I'm for sure everybody else feels the same way, right? So I don't um I don't want to be part of any kind of cliques where they're too busy um, trying to um, validate each other. I I don't do that because um, sometimes um, you just connect with people for the sake of just connecting to say you did it, and I don't I don't do that. Um, I, I don't I don't want to do that. Um, people are going to always at some point in time they're going to dislike you. They're going to resent you. They're going to um, not do some of the things that you do. And you can grow out of friendships. Does it mean that you that you dislike them or that you hate them? Or is you just grow out of friendships to where they're not following a path that you're on? And that's okay. You know, we all, um, we all do things and we've all done things in our past that have... Um, taught us lessons, hard lessons, some good lessons. Some people are meant to stay with you throughout all the seasons of your life. Some people are only meant for you just a few seasons at a time. And that's okay too. You can still respect them and you can still like them. Just you don't have to be validated by being part of any kind of clique or any kind of group. And you can do your own thing and and, and you can be fine with doing your own thing and what you'll find is that your work will speak for itself and that you will be able to not only respect yourself more but you won't have to worry about you know what if in yourself validating your own feelings validating somebody else's feelings making somebody else or other people feel special um when there's things that you just can't go along with or you don't do anymore. That's okay. It's part of life. It's part of living. We all grow. We all move. We all do different different things. Um, and a lot of times those clicks change. And sometimes those clicks will, will hurt you in ways that you didn't realize um, was detrimental to you and your health and your, your mental health and your, your well-being. So... It's always good sometimes to find that peace and that solitude in the quiet places in your life. Like for me, I love looking at our trail cams of all of the animals that we feed out in our many, many acres of woods that we have. So we love to look at the wildlife and just see how they react. And some things are funny that we catch and some things are kind of serious. And, you know, either way, you don't really see animals judging each other and they don't care the ones that are predators they're not going to hang out with the deer 
and the you know the ones that aren't predators that you know they're just going to kind of hang out with the chill ones that they can kind of commune with a little bit and eat with and like okay so this one's not going to rip me to shreds i can kind of come over here and eat the corn yeah same thing with us you know we're not going to hang out with people who are uh, bullies or are just terrible human beings and terrible people um, we kind of like to hang out with people who um, are going to be good to us and be honest and have opinions that are different from ours and we can all get along so that's what we're made to do and i love 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 walking in the woods and just looking at the seasons change our creek has been pretty dry um, even though we did have um, hurricane ian come through north carolina um we didn't sustain like damage damage other than you know lost some trees and things like that we were very fortunate um there was just some people that were not as fortunate and our hearts and prayers definitely go out to them that they can recover um, out in the places that were affected especially florida and fort myers area and all the other areas that were affected and people that were affected that was pretty devastating but um sometimes just clearing your mind and getting to a quiet place or something that you enjoy that you don't get to do very often is very good it's very cleansing and it's very good for the soul so i do love to walk in the woods and just see how things change the seasons are changing the snakes are going away so i was pretty excited about the snakes going away bugs are doing whatever bugs do you know we didn't get bit by anything it wasn't you know flies and gnats and these biting things flying around our head so we did pretty well with everything else you just kind of have to learn that in different stages of your life and different seasons of your life that you don't have to be everything to everybody and you don't have to be everywhere and do everything to be noticed or to be accepted you're fine just the way you are and there's a lot of things that we can do to change our unhelpful thinking styles to helpful thinking styles and that starts with us so this video has been basically kind of positive and uplifting just to let you know that you're not the only ones out there that are having to deal with just everyday stuff and pressures of people trying to tell you you need to do this you need to be a part of this you need to do that and this and the other no you really don't it's up to you what you can handle and what you can do if you want to be a part of all these different um associations or groups or whatever then go do what you're comfortable with and whatever your schedule allows and whatever makes you happy and whatever makes it something productive and and good other than that i'm glad we got to have this chat today and i haven't been posting videos twice a week because as i said i've been very extremely busy we've got some other projects and things planned we've got more recording projects coming in i've got more editing projects coming in which is extremely nice to have and i'm very grateful for it find your happy place find your quiet place take time to do those things and focus on what you can do versus what you can't do thanks for watching thanks for subscribing we'll see you guys later thanks for enjoying my original tunes and original music and the sounds from my woods on the earlier clips in the video so enjoy have a great day and we'll talk to you guys really, really soon.